So I made a video, a couple, a couple videos about uh, VR recently, and um, one of them got under people's skin a bit. And like I said, I predicted they would. I predicted they would yell at me. I was correct. I think my favorite was not to nitpick, but Chet was never dev. He was a writer. Oh, oh my God, it killed me. Oh, it hurt so much. Yeah, I couldn't have been part of the field or have any idea what's going on. All right, but let's set some stuff straight. The Quest is an amazing piece of hardware, and one of those I say that. It is, it is. It's just, I know the people who worked on it. It's an amazing piece of hardware, right? I mean, this is goes back to the argument I had with Gabe, actually, over HDTV and YouTube. He was arguing that people would watch HDTV over YouTube because of fidelity. And I'm always like, access matters, con convenience matters way more than fidelity will ever matter. Just very few people care about fidelity. We got a running argument for a while there. I think I won that one. Uh, and I think the Quest won this one. It's about ease of access because you want to remove friction, okay? There are magical experiences in VR. Some of the favorite experiences I have had, I have talked about in the other video of just like the stupidest stuff, move me because you're in it in a way that you aren't in other games, right? But I mean, look at what's pop the most popular stuff now is like Beat Saber and some others that are less about the movement and not, right? I mean, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, um, super hot. VR, like, oh my God, right? I had to go actually click, I, I, I forgot about that, it's so good. Pistol Whip, like there's a bunch of stuff that I play that I like, it's cool, right? I really like VR, I really wish VR would take off. I am not getting some kind of like, the anti-VR companies are not paying me to do this, right? But yeah, I got, a, I got a lucky chance to be in an early part of this. The first time that I went to go set up or to go talk about setting up the tag room at Google, it was an off-campus house that was like that of the Brady Bunch. And they got like, hey, you can, you can set up in the living room. It was like 12 people. It was not enthusiastic, right? And eventually I'd go back and they would have an entire campus dedicated to VR. They spent billions of dollars on this, right? They were serious about it. And hey, hats off to Google, I think. At the end of the day, they pulled out of making something Quest-like, I will just say. Uh, and that was a genius move that saved them billions of dollars. So, cause Meta came in and Meta just kept spending. Meta, Meta has tried to will this into existence, right? You have these magical experiences here. You have Meta just pouring in money. Like a Valve would not have been able to do this. Valve did not have as much money as Valve has. They do not have the endless supply of cash that Facebook slash Meta has. And Meta tried to will this into existence. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, you, you kind of, they made like your grandma's VR chat without a soul, much like your grandma. But like, that didn't stop it. Like, it just, it just wasn't catching on, right? I mean, do you remember there was a point where Unity used to charge per device? Like you had to pay to get access to the iOS version of Unity. And then you had to, like, and also magically around VR, that stopped happening as we pushed for open standards and had a lot of discussions, right? Like there was a lot of play of a lot of people trying to get this to work, right? Billions of dollars, billions of dollars, the biggest companies in the world, Microsoft was in it, excuse me. They threw billions of dollars at it, right? Like Meta is the best, best known for it, but like, it didn't work. And now people will hold up and be like, oh, VR chat, a rec room. Neither of those require VR to play. And that's where they saw their growth. So you can get mad at me for saying what I'm saying. You can get and say, I'm stupid, I'm not a dev, or my favorite, what was it? Uh, Chet never fails to inflate his contributions. Dude is a bitch. Dude is a bitch. Oh man, yeah, I hope, I hope you're dr drinking like a, a, a natural light when you say that, or natty light, you probably call it. But, uh, Sorry, this is a funny one. Dude is a bitch. That was good. Uh, I'm manly. I got the beard. Uh, but, okay. But answer me that then. Why, with all the billions of dollars, all the technology, and that there are magical experiences on the other side of it, why hasn't it caught on? Why don't people play it? Why hasn't it taken off? It hasn't. Because it hasn't, okay? I get in that Reddit, it, it has. But it hasn't, all right? Or in the Twitter comments, it hasn't. It has not succeeded in the way it would. And in fact, they were going to oust Zuckerberg if he didn't give up on his dream of VR and instead go back to, yeah, just sell ads to people, right? Again, biggest social media platform in the world behind it with the most money in the world behind it. And it failed. Failing, dying, didn't take off, whatever version of these words you, you want to use.
right? So, why? Ask yourself why. Now, there's friction. There's always friction, right? I mean, you're having to put things on and having to, you know, cover your face, not social with other people. Like, there's a lot of, like, little hinty things like that. But we, we get over those kind of things, right? People are lazy. Like, I think, like, within what's well, within's doing, I get why Facebook brought, bought them. They were, like, doing genius stuff, right? Like, doing that kind of activities in VR is, I think, the best use of VR, honestly. Uh, and people are lazy. They don't want to do that. They want to go like this, right? I remember, I remember talking to a European dev and they were like, Hey, we're going to make VR stuff and we're going to make it for a controller. And I'm like, Oh, you're crazy. Don't do that. And they're like, well, Facebook tells us that's the future. I'm like, no, it's not. No one, no one will remember that. Name me one VR, one, 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 uh, quest, not quest, uh, whatever rift launch title. You can't not to say they were bad games, but those aren't ever anything anyone wants to play the minute they can move into the world because that's what makes it magical. That's what makes it cool, right? So why aren't people playing it? Now you're going to give me those, oh, VR legs exist. Oh, they do. Look at these studies. There's not a single study in the world. Not a single study. You can come come to my comments and show me the single study to eliminate VR sickness in somebody. You could depreciate it. You can make it happen less. You can have it not as frequently or as not as severe. But anything that you put on your head and you're going to play some games and then all of a sudden, like, your computer is going to act up or the game itself is rough and you're going to have to be like to your wife, hey, your your sister's um, wedding we're not going to be able to go to because I'm too sick. Like, that is why people put it in the closet. It is. It is. Once you get sick... Like, you are willing to go through and get sick because you love this thing on the other side so much. But think about if somebody was like, hey, hey, I cooked some carrots over here. Uh, And there's some carrots over there. And those carrots have some little bit of butter on them. Just a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. Uh, But to get those carrots, you're going to have to get punched in the face five times before you can have them. Are you going to get punched in the face in the five times? You're going to be like, yeah, these carrots over here are good enough, right? And that's what's happening in the game industry. The non-VR flat screen experiences are good enough, social enough, and bring all those things that why people play them without the VR. Are they as good as what could happen in VR? No, but people are making this choice of like, this thing can make me sick and I get an incrementally better experience. This thing will never get me sick. Even though some people do get sick from FPS stuff and things, 100%, but that's a way smaller, right? <clears throat> but this will never get me sick and I can play this. They're not going to make that jump, man. They're just not. They're not. So get mad at me all you want. Say that I'm irrelevant. I'm stupid. Whatever. But then just ask yourself, why hasn't it taken off if this is the most magical experience in the world? Because it is. The first time I remember going down and seeing the blue and being like, or the first time tilt brush going across and being able to draw. And for once in my life, like seeing what was in my head because it was such a direct output. Like... Those are magical experiences, right? I mean, Pistol Whip still puts me in this place that is just, man, a good run. Like, yeah, right. It's, we, you, you know the good side of it, but that's not good enough. <clears throat> it's not good enough to overcome that barrier. And so people, even when they buy it, they're going to put it in the closet because they're like, oh, I'm putting that back on. I ain't getting sick, right? So there you go. The only reason why I'm not joining you over there in Reddit, Bill, is because, uh, during VR stuff, uh, somebody impersonated me on Reddit and they, they nicely closed the account. And then I'm like, well, can I just have my name there? And they're like, no. And I'm like, but but that's my name. And they're like, yeah, no, somebody had your name. And I'm like, well, no, that's that's my name. Uh, that's me. They were impersonating me. So if they were reaching out to other people in DMs and impersonating me, that would like, that was me. So like, and they're like, no. So I'm like, after 10 years, can I have that? Or whatever, it's been five years or whatever. They're like, no, no, you can't have that name. So. I am that lazy. <laughs> Talk about friction and lazy. So again, get mad at me. Uh, hey, talk about how nice my hair is today, maybe. Uh, but man, yeah, you know, you know, you've lost it when you're like not to nitpick. But Chet was never a dev; he was a writer. Uh, you can hear the laughter from the game industry uh, as as you as you say that. I'm just gonna say that, and also. I've said it a million times. I worked with people way smarter than me. And the day I've ever said I'm smart, I am once I've said I'm smart. But man, it's not on this stuff. 
you know, and this all came from this magical, like the, the leap that came was like a magical accident. I think uh, Michael Abrash is the one who coined the term, uh, was it peace dividend from the cell phone wars? And he's right, right? Like this was not gonna happen. Nobody saw this coming. This came, it came out of nowhere, was amazing. And it just has problems that just can't be overcome in a way that'll work. I mean, eventually there'll be some kind of version of this that you're more immersive and you're more in it, but it's not this. Sorry. <laughs>